right, we're here with Cass and Ted Philpot and Elle, um, who they recently um, have been upgrading their home room by room, but can't agree to do the same thing in the final room. Mikkel, what advice do you give couples, actually, when it comes to design? They live in the same space, but they mm -hmm. want different things. What do you do? Okay, so this is what I'd say. Like, treating a design is just like a marriage. It's got to be some compromise, right? Ooh. So I really think that, you know, want more than one person in the room than the other. So I recommend doing a mood board. You take three inspirational images, you take inspirational images, you put them all on that one board, and you can at least begin to see what your design style is. Mood boards are key. All right, Mikkel and I have taken all the evidence into consideration and come to a decision. Here is what the room currently looks like. Photos, please, everybody. There we go. All right, oh, then. The dog. By the way, the dog stays. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, Mikkel and I um, have the final verdict. Are you ready to see everything um, that we've done and knowing when you look at it, every single item in the room um, has to go back to the store. So if you don't, if you don't like it, it's not a problem. Sounds fair. I'm just kidding. Everything in the room is yours. Nice. Every single item. Everything. All right, let's open the door. Oh my God. That's a bigger room. That's awesome. There's a bar. So ladies, why don't you two ladies take a seat here? And my friend, since you really wanted an entertainment oh uh, area, I'm gonna let you hang out over here so you can get a little more comfortable. Yeah. That sounds great. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, the, the chairs are on swivels, something that we found very key <laughs> because you've got your TV here. So if everybody wants to watch, great. If everybody wants to make this coffee table like for food or games or center point, then you have the swivel action. This pottery barn, farm, armchair, like it has a swivel, it's just amazing. And it gets me like a little conversational pit, right? Yes. Also, they've they've um, really camouflaged the swivel. They which have. You don't, these do not look like swivels, but they have that surprise in them. So, you know, wherever you are. And then we did a little bar over here because <laughs> you could have like sandwiches and like Coca-Cola's yes. with your friends. You yes. can have a beer with your friends. You can have a cocktail with your friends. And just like, instead of it looking kind of like a cheesy bar, we wanted it to be very neutral and mm -hmm. chic. Well, and then the other thing, you know, one thing that you love more so than anything is storage, but you have like a ton of storage. Like you guys can house all of your your games. I mean, it's just remote so much storage. Remote controls, posters, and remote controls. They can start to muck up the room. So just slide them in your leather boxes. And for all that stuff that you want to be like, nothing to see here. Because <laughs> life is messy. It's real. And so you got to have somewhere to cram all Absolutely. that stuff and hide it. <laughs> um, but also, this speaks to, I think, the number one thing that really jumped out at us this week in Design Week, the number one trend is that pops of black yeah. are extremely chic. You have a little black coffee table, a little black stripe in the rug, a black table, a little art. So, Cass, what do you think? I, I I'm speechless. This is so inspired. It will give me a space, and it also gives them, it, it really does mesh both of our visions, I think. <laughs> Good job. Now, what do you think? I love it. I love it. And I think my friends will too. I think we can hang out in here. It'll be rad. All right. Ted, thoughts? Truthfully, I love it. I might even take up reading. What? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well, Ted, we have one more surprise for Thank you, you and the whole family. So as you picture the room, this is one giant window. You had a couch in front of it. Correct. But what we wanted to do since we got rid of the couch was we gave you this amazing, incredible shuffleboard um, game to place in the room. Oh, and it is so chic. It goes right with the wood and the furniture. Oh I have to say, Jamie. like, oh my gosh, we knew you wanted a game. Oh, and it gets better, my friend. So, with this beautiful shuffleboard, you're gonna need to take some type of score as you're whipping up on these ladies. Mm -hmm. So, I've created a DIY uh, scoreboard for you that you'll be able to take home so that you and the family can keep score really? while you're playing. Awesome. Oh Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. Oh my 
goodness, that is so amazing. Okay, what is like one word that comes to mind when you look at the room? Cass? Inspired. Oh, L? Amazing. Ted? A blend. Fantastic, <laughs> Michelle! We did we it! Did. And I, we could not have done this without Pottery Bar. Oh my God. You are the dream makers that made it happen.